When we look at traditional cultures and places and what are the sort of formulas that heal, uh, we've termed the phrase the five selves and those are the blessings. And the five selves show up in cultures all around the world. They're kind of universal, which are like everybody has singing practices. Everybody has some sort of movement or dance. Everybody has storytelling, prayers and meditation or ceremonies that we bring and we we hold space for because that's really important that we hold space for all the differences. And the fifth one and the most important one, I think, is connecting to nature or the land because that's where we all come from. And when you look at indigenous identity, I'm Potawatomi and we're keepers of the fire. You know, so that's, which I'm like, oh, that's so phenomenal, you know. And then you've got the Haidas, which are the from the land, the translation are the you're from the islands, you know, and translations actually reflect something to do with the land, you know, who we are. I had a talk with some um, non-Indigenous people who were saying, well, we're Native because we were born in Canada, and, and I couldn't articulate it at that moment, but I know it felt really weird with me because I walked away feeling, well, but you're not Native to Canada. You know, there's a semantics around the word. I was at uh, a garden store. We walked to the Native Garden Centre, and I went, that's the answer right there. There are plants from an area which are native to the area. And we all know that, yeah, you know, rose bushes are native to. And then there are these beautiful introduced species because we love flower gardens and different things. Uh, and we've cultivated that. But then there's also invasive species that come in and, you know, cause harm. And that was sort of the metaphor that I thought, yeah, it's kind of like that. It's like that's the answer because it's not that you're native or non-native. But there's a place what comes from the land, and so our names reflect that.